Hello again, Dinky Danny here. Today I'd like to talk about Collector's Edition releases for video games. I just recently picked up my Collector's Edition Fallout New Vegas, and I'm really enjoying it. I'll show you what came in this in a little bit. But before I get into that, I'd like to talk about what exactly a Collector's Edition is and what it's becoming. Generally, I've found that there are two types of people. The ones who really enjoy Collector's Editions, and they enjoy getting the extra stuff that comes with the game, paying a little bit extra money. And then there are the people who say, I just want to play my game, I don't need all that extra stuff, I don't understand why you spend the money on all those little knickknacks and things like that. I'm definitely on the side where I enjoy Collector's Editions. When I, once I show you this Fallout, I'll show you what I like about it and why I think it's cool. But the main issue that I want to talk about is recently it's just been starting with pre-order specials and collector's editions and it's in-game content. When you go to a GameStop or any place, you used to go and you pre-order a game and as a pre-order bonus you'd get a little knick-knack or something fun, a little toy, and it'd be cool to pre-order the game, have that little collectible. But now when you go to pre-order a game, you get in-game content. And I really don't understand. It doesn't persuade me to pick up a game or to pre-order it. And it's the same thing with collector's editions. With Fable 2, I think the collector's edition, all it has is an, an extra DVD with making of Fable 2 footage. Same with Halo 3, it just has a DVD inside. And I think Ninja Gaiden Sigma, it just gives you a making of the game, and it's not really anything collectible. So I don't understand why they're calling it a collector's edition, when you don't get anything except for one DVD, that's not collectible at all. And all the in-game content that you get, it's kind of like they're trying to pawn off in-game content as being a collectible item, which is completely not the case. So I just wanted to, I guess that's a little rant. Recently I've been looking at the pre-order bonuses and I used to go in and I'd, you know, sometimes be persuaded by the pre-order bonus to buy the game day one, pre-order it, spend the extra money, or whatever. And same with this uh, collector's edition. If I couldn't get the collector's edition, I may not have bought this game day one. I've been real busy working and I don't have a ton of time to play the game right now, but I really wanted the limited edition collector's edition, and that's that's the main reason that I bought the game on day one, other than I, that I loved Fallout 3. So I'd like to hear some of your opinions, what you think about collector's editions, whether you like them, whether you like seeing the extra stuff that comes with them, and also, when you pre-order a game or get a collector's edition, what do you think about in-game content? I cannot stand it. You know, you get an extra suit of armor, like Halo Reach, I think you got extra armor, or you get the flame head, and there would be a fire on your head, recon type armor. And I just don't understand what the incentive is to pay the extra money for something that's in-game and not collectible at all, let alone for it to be called a collector's edition. They should have another title for that or something just to distinguish. Because, you know, I go out and I see a collector's edition on the shelf, and I figure something collectible is going to be in there. And a lot of these, you just bring them home, and there's an extra DVD, that's it. And I don't find that collectible at all. So, the second half of this video, I'm just going to show you what came in this Fallout New Vegas collector's edition. I'm, I re I'm really happy with it. I wasn't exactly sure what the quality would be when, you know, first looking at this online, hearing what was going to come in it. But once I picked it up, the one thing that, right when I walked in the store, I hate this green banner across all Xbox things. Whoever designed that pattern, I, I don't even know what they were thinking. I think it's obnoxious. And I like the other pattern more, but I, I don't know. This box would be a lot nicer if it was just completely brown on the front. And I later found out after I opened it that there is actually a collector's box inside. So let's take a look at this, and I'll show you what's inside it. Before I show you what came with the Fallout New Vegas Collector's Edition, Let's take a look at another game that I spent extra money on to get the limited edition, and it's Metal Gear Solid 4. Now I absolutely love Metal Gear Solid, and no matter what I was going to buy the limited edition just because I love the series and I love this game. But let's take a look at what's inside and see whether it was worth the money. You get the bigger case and the more sturdy case on the outside, which is kind of cool, looks decent, and even on the back, it just has a sheet of paper, it doesn't even have the art directly on the back of it, which is kind of cheap. and then. Looking inside, you have the game, which is just the standard release version. And the only bonus that you get with the game is in Blu-ray DVD, which has information about how they made the game and things like that. So, overall, it's pretty disappointing. I think I spent $20 or $30 extra for this. And would I spend $20 to $30 for just the big case and the Blu-ray DVD? Probably not. 
The only reason that I bought this is because I'm a huge fan of this series, but I mean, it, looking at it, it's kind of cheap that that's all they put in there with it and charged $30 more. Now, I, I was mainly just thinking about this issue because I just went and picked up the Fallout New Vegas Collector's Edition, which cost $20 more than the regular game. So you could pay $60 and just get the game itself, or you could pay the $80 and get the Collector's Edition. So opening this up, originally when I first walked in, I, I was mad that it has that white bar along the top. That's pretty disappointing. I don't like whoever designed that and put that on there. I wish it was just completely brown on the front. But... Once I opened it up, I saw that inside there is a nice box, and that's just a slip cover that goes over it. So taking a look at this box, I think they did a pretty good job designing it. It's very sturdy, and they did a nice job of making it look old, and it actually feels like something someone might have stored an old poker set in. So after you take off the lid, the first thing you see is a hardback book, which is pretty nice. And inside here, it has a nice cover on it. And inside, I haven't really looked at it. I don't know if it has any spoilers from the game. But it's got some cool artwork and just a comic book. So after I finish up the game, I'll take a look through that. Inside, obviously, you get the game, which I've already opened. I was playing it a little bit. And the first thing here is a Lucky 38 Platinum Poker Chip, which I haven't played the game yet, so I don't even know exactly what it's going to be used for, but it's significant in the game. And then also you get another stack of Poker Chips, also with the theme of New Vegas. And here you get a making of Fallout New Vegas DVD. And the last thing is a deck of playing cards, which I haven't opened yet. I actually collect playing cards, so that's really cool. But that's what comes in the collector's edition. And I'm really happy with this. I, I'm definitely satisfied with the stuff that came with it. And I feel like I got $20 worth of collectible items to have in my collection. And once I play the game, they'll have more significance. You know, I'll know what the chips are for. And it'll be a cool thing to look through and, you know, look back on after I completed the game. So that's just my opinion on collector's editions. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing what was in the Fallout New Vegas Collector's Edition. And be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what your opinion is. Not only on whether you think Collector's Editions are worth it, but also what you think about the in-game content that they're giving you with pre-orders and supposed Collector's Editions. Alright, well that's it for this. It's kind of an unboxing and a rant. But I'm Dinky Dana, and thanks for watching.